you got friends on Minecraft that are always trying to always trying to cheat you look inside your house like a creeper looking for your special pirate booty that you found well today I'm going to show you how to build a nice little secret underground base that I found by a guy named Nims TV he uh, shows how to make a sliding underground doorway into a base and it's pretty cool so I hope you guys enjoy so you can keep your nasty ass thief friends out of your fucking house hope you guys enjoy this and uh, let's get right into it guys and I'm back uh, I opened up a new creative lobby so and um, I'm gonna be clearing this off as I go because this grass is just awful and it kind of gets in the way but uh, okay I'm gonna start showing you how to build the underground base so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna start with building a little area for your stairs it just has to be two blocks wide it can be however long you want I'm actually gonna make this shorter just for the tutorial because mine was actually kind of long Okay, so this is four blocks long. Let's make it five. Okay, then you want to skip one block in between and just make one that is one block. Well, no, no, yeah, two blocks. That's uh, one space in between. This part will be your stairs, and this part over here is going to be your uh, sticky pistons and stuff. I got this too long. Let's fix this up. Okay. So these are all the same length now. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to go to the sticky pistons. I'm playing this on the PS3 version of Minecraft, so um, it is a little bit like it's it's not as far along. Oops, as the Xbox version. I feel like that's not right. Oh, we'll try it. No, it's not. Okay, hold on. So, my bad. You want to leave those there for a second until you can get all of these in. See, it's so awkward on PS3 because you have to, like, be facing that direction. Where on PC, I'm pretty sure you can just turn the things. So just make sure you replace the grass blocks in front of that. Then go back here and take these out. And then... Do the same thing to the other side. Yeah, the PS3 version, it's, it has its kinks right now. It's still a new game to us. Okay, so now that that's done, you want to start building your uh, little redstone, the stuff that's going to get this all working. So first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to clear out one more row, and you're going to want to put down... A thing of redstone right there. And then a repeater, 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 repeater. And then what you're gonna do is you uh, to make it do that cool little thing where it takes a block away at a different time. It's for like a little zipper pattern. You want this one to be on zero, this one to be on one, this one to be on two, and this one to be on three. So it's like that. They're alternating. And then you just want to connect them with that. Same thing over here. You're gonna put one redstone. Repeater, 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 repeater. Clear this row out. Then zero, one, two, three. And that's how you set that up. Then you just want to make a little grid. All right. Now we're gonna start working on the stairs. So clear two more blocks down from here. Ooh, look, a cave. All right. So this is gonna be kind of awkward then, but uh, we're gonna get it done. Okay. So I'll just build up some blocks real quick. That's where this should have been. Okay. So there's two blocks right there. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back to your sticky pistons like that. And then come up to the surface level. And 
Um, use whatever kind. I'll just use stone for this time. But on my other one, I you can tell I use another brick stairs. And then what you want to do is you just want to start clearing this out little by little, making yourself a little staircase. So. Yeah, this cave is kind of throwing me off a little bit, but it's all good. Oops. Okay. That's good for now. So, that's how you get your little staircase started. So, we can get rid of these. Okay. Now, what you want to do is, you're going to want to clear out the space behind the stairs and dig down. Then you're going to want to take a conductor block, anything that can conduct redstone, and you're going to, like I use iron, you're going to put that here, and then you're going to put a, where'd it go, there it is, a redstone torch on the front, and you'll see that that one shoots up almost immediately. That's good, that's what you want. And then you're going to put one redstone piece right there, so they're attached now. That's how you make the stairs come up. This, these two stairs from the inside will shoot up whenever you want to leave. Now, you're going. Uh, usually, there's more to this, like behind it. So I'll just try to simulate that real quick. Now, what you're going to want to do is just want to dig this little two-block area out. Oops. And you're going to want to connect this redstone. My god, man, this cave is really throwing me off, but it's all good. Okay, now this is where it gets kind of tricky. So first you're going to want to put a red, or a redstone repeater facing the little arrow on the front facing that way. And you're going to want it on the first one. Then the next thing is you want... Hold on. Okay, then you want to start connecting... You're gonna come over here to the block, to the conductor block, one facing that way, one facing that way, and one facing that way. And uh, these, I don't think it matters what little uh, thing you have them on. So then you just want to connect everything. I don't think you need that. Yeah, you don't. Okay. All right, and then that's all done. And then we got to build the power supply. So the power supply is pretty easy. It's just uh, what you want to do is you want to, like I said, like really you you're not gonna hit a cave usually. So this is really weird, but it still works. Okay. So we'll just act like this was here the whole time. Alright, and then what you're going to want to do is, you want to get, clear that out, you want to get two regular pistons, you want to get some redstone torches, and a conductor block. On PC they use blocks of redstone, on PS3 we don't have that yet, so basically what you're going to do now is you're going to put a conductor block, uh, hold on, i got to build this one more out, just use these. Okay, I'm going to build a conductor block like that, right there, put a redstone torch down, and you're going to want to, nope, hold on, nope, there we go, piston, and piston, and then take two more of your conductor blocks and put them like that, then you're going to want to redstone redstone torch oops oh yeah that's right we don't need that okay and then you want to take some more redstone and lead it from there and there and put some on top linking these and then all you need is hold on a minute 
What happened here? Okay. You want to replace this stair real quick, if that happens to you. Alright. And then, you just want to get anything that can uh, use redstone, so like a lever. or uh, Levers work best on PS3, I don't know about anything else. Hold on, I messed up on this sticky piston. Let me fix this real quick. Okay. Alright, my bad. You don't need these. Oopsie. Okay. So just fill that in with iron, I guess. Now, uh, obviously yours can look a lot better if you do it the right way. This one just looks kind of poopy because uh, I kind of fucked it up a little bit with the um, with misusing the redstone. There we go. Alright, and then you'll see how it all comes together when you just push that. Slides open. And, that's, and then you can just cover all this up. And that is how you make a sliding base on Minecraft for PS3, PC, or Xbox 360. PC has a little more option with it, uh, PS3 not so much. And then you come down here and like, even though this is a cave, let's just pretend that it's not. And you can uh, hide all kinds of stuff down here, make your house down here for survival because it's, it's fairly safe and nothing's going to get in. And uh, yeah, so uh, shout out to Nims TV for giving me this idea and uh, showing how to do this. Hope you guys enjoy this and if you can figure out how to link the wiring of redstone to the inside so that you can close it from the inside. Uh, that would be very, very cool if you can show me how to do that. Because uh, he tried to, and I really didn't understand it. But uh, anyway, yep, one more time. Close. And uh, the reason the zipper thing happens is because of all these. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, go check out our other videos. We post every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and sometimes Saturday and Sundays. Um, anyway, this is Robodo from Pocket Pals Gaming, and I'm signing out. Thanks for watching, guys.